We've had some thunderstorms today around the area. Not everyone got in on the action, but there were a few thunderstorms and there was a small chance that one or two of those might try to get uh, strong to severe. And that's the whole reason I'm in tonight as opposed to broadcasting from home. Right now we have some rain and some of that heavy up as you come out of Clarion County, out of Armstrong County, up into Jefferson County. That's where we have the heaviest precipitation right now. These right here along 68 out of Morgantown, getting out of Garrett County, that was a gusty thunderstorm. That one actually came out uh, and traveled along southern Greene County and Montegelli County through Preston and Garrett counties, and that has lost some steam. And now that we've lost the heat of the day, we're going to see most of this just come in as rain, possibly a couple rumbles of thunder, and you can see a little more action back into Ohio, and that's going to actually try to work towards us into uh, tonight and early tomorrow. But uh, once we get towards sunrise, I think we get a little bit of a break. But once we get into the afternoon, we're going to turn on the rain and the potential thunderstorm activity again. Here's uh, the severe weather outlook, and today we were in the marginal, meaning the very small threat of a strong to severe thunderstorm, and that's what we ended up getting. Tomorrow we're in the slight risk, and the slight risk is actually the next level up, and that's why I don't like this, this uh, name, slight, because it means scattered strong to severe thunderstorms, and numerous strong to severe thunderstorms are expected as you get towards the other end of the state into New York and uh, up east. So for us, we're looking at a, a slightly elevated threat for some uh, stronger storms tomorrow with wind and hail being the big things we're going to be watching for tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. So it could get a little busy in spite of the quiet start to the day. So if you uh, just spotty showers around for the rest of tonight, you can see by 7 a.m. a lot of this is actually out of here and we'll stay out of here and we'll even see a couple peaks of sunshine through about lunchtime. Clouds come back in and then once we get late into the afternoon and evening, we start to see the thunderstorms popping up again. These thunderstorms are going to remain scattered about and again could uh, be producing some gusty winds, uh, potentially some hail. And that's what we'll be watching for at midnight. They're gone. And then we see a quiet start to the weekend. Clouds early on by lunchtime. We start to clear it out. So your Saturday is a, actually a fantastic start to the weekend. The clouds and the showers come back for Sunday. So if you have a pick of the two days, I would start eyeing Saturday for your plans over Sunday, especially for anything that uh, has to do with outside. We have clouds in Pittsburgh right now. Current temperature 65 degrees. We are not going to fall off too much temperature wise tonight. Most of our temperatures are in these low to mid 60s. Just a couple exceptions there. So it's going to be a warm night and giving us a warm finish tomorrow with again the first part of the day being great. The second part being the opposite showers and thunderstorms. Some of those strong tomorrow. Saturday great start to the weekend 76 degrees there a little sunshine for the afternoon. Sunday it's back to the rain and thunderstorms 79 degrees there temperatures fall. After that, and with the storms and temperatures warming up in the forecast, the KDK weather app is a great tool to have on your mobile device. Hour by hour forecast, there's a future cast and an interactive radar, and it's free. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.